Hello, welcome to this Article Forge review and demo, and I'm going to show you uh, how to use AI content for your blog, and we're going to do a demo on Article Forge and compare it to a, another AI writer as well. So, welcome to my channel. Please uh, watch this video all the way to the end, and then also take a look around the channel as you'll see different videos about how I use the tools uh, I do to make money online, as well as different uh, ways and strategies to make money online. I'm trying to get my channel to 2,000 subscribers, so I'd appreciate it if you should subscribe so you can get up-to-date videos as they come out. Let's jump right in. And so in this video, we're going to cover um, a few different things. First, why use artificial intelligent or AI content? Uh, number two, I'm going to show you a demo inside our article blog. Four, I'm sorry, Article Forge, so you can see exactly how it works. And then I'm going to compare it to how most AI writers work and some of the differences. And then make sure you stay all the way to the end because at the end I'm going to show you proof that using AI content from Article Forge actually does work. It helps you rank and you can actually earn money. So let's jump right in. And why use AI content? Well, for me, I am not someone who likes to write. Uh, it takes more effort <laughs> for me to write something than it's worth to do the research to write it. And so for me, it's a great way to get content onto a blog. And and um, with the rapid development of AI software, it's what really kind of pulled me back into adding some adding um, a blog to my repertoire of the things that I do online. So there's several different things that I do online, and uh, I wanted to get back into blogging because I do see it as a good long way, a good long-term strategy, I should say, to earn affiliate commissions as well as um, add revenue on the site. And so AI content allows me to do that much easier than trying to write the content myself. So I want to jump into Article Forge. Um, this is Article Forge. We're inside my account and um, essentially we're going to go ahead and just basically create a new article, right? So we're just going into the demo. So I have a um, dog niche blog that I'm starting and so this is a um, my Excel spreadsheet or Google Sheet with my keywords for the site. And so what I do, just to keep myself organized, when I create the article in Article Forge, uh, when, I, when I've done that, I'll put done over here. The keywords obviously are in the center. And then when I posted those keywords to my blog, I put that over here. Um, and so I actually was doing a lot of these, these keyword articles before I started this spreadsheet. And so that's why you see some dates that are missing. But and then these are different topics on the site. So we're kind of in, I've been doing a lot of articles about different dog toys. And so you can see I need to make um, articles for a dog toys interactive keyword and dog toys impossible to destroy. So let's go ahead and just grab this dog toys interactive. Here we are in Article Forge. Now Article Forge is super easy to use. Okay, you just create, click create new article. You paste in your keyword. You can choose the language. And then there's some customization. Now, in, under the Customize Your Article, you choose what article length you want it. Okay, anywhere from 50 words up to 1,500 words. Um, and then you can say if you want to add titles, add section headings, add sub keywords. So uh, I usually do either a long or very long, depending on how much content I think it's going to be able to pull for that keyword. So this one I'll probably just do a long article. And then, yeah, as you can see, it automatically turned on and it's going to create, add titles for me, add section headings, and it's also going to auto-generate those section headings. Now, you can turn these off if you want and add your own. So that is another way you can do that. You can add your own. Um, and so, oh, I'm sorry, uh, auto-generate. So if you turn that off, you can add your own section headings if you want, up to uh, five. Uh, but I'm going to let it go ahead and do that for me. And then customize the style. Uh, I like to add an image and I like to add a video. And so it's going to add a video from YouTube. And, uh, you know, having a, a video on your blog post, I think, helps with ranking. And then you can replace the keyword links. You can connect your WordPress blog to Article Forge and it'll automatically post it if you want. And then you can also integrate with Word AI to rephrase it. So I'm going to, I'm all set. I'm going to click on create new article. And now it was the progress bar up here is going to track the progress of the article as it's being made. So while it's working on that, what I want to do is jump over and we're going to, so the demo is going and I'm going to compare it to any other AI writers. I own another um, 
AI software called Word Hero, and it's a great software. I love it as well. The main difference is Word Hero is like most AI software where it takes um, quite a bit more work to get a long form article done. Uh, a lot more prompts, a lot more interaction from you. You saw how easy it was in Article Forge. We just put in the keyword, you know, toggled a few different things, hit click, and boom, and now it's you know almost half done already with the article. Um, and so you can do something kind of, you can't really do, uh, I'm sorry, you can't really do something similar in Word Hero um, because you have to really prompt it along. Now, what I like using Word Hero for is, as you can see, you can, you know, use, get AI content for all kinds of things, right? Um, and so you can use it for lots and lots of different things. The listicles, actually, remember in, in um, uh, Article Forge, you could, you know, I have it set to auto-generate the section headings. Well, you could make your own section headings by maybe using listicles in here, uh, in Word Hero, and then use those, at that listic, it gives you as your section headings. That's an option. Um, but what I use primarily Word Hero for is uh, these other sections up here, right? So blog intro. Um, and well, let's just give you a quick example, I guess, right? We're doing keyword dog toys interactive. And so a lot of times what I'll do is I'll generate additional content here for to maybe supplement the article forge, right? So the article forge content we said wouldn't be about 750 words. And I can kind of juice that up, and you see how quickly this wrote and gave me three different choices that I could use for a dog, you know, for, uh, I'm sorry, intro paragraph for this article. And so I can choose one of these and add it, you know, there, um, and that'll add length to the Article Forge article that is being created. And then I do the same thing with uh, blog conclusions or add some additional blog paragraphs okay and so that can work very well and word hero does have a um, long form editor that you can use and what you can do is you can go in here and you can you know put your title in and then hit create an intro paragraph and it's going to start writing so here we go and so it does actually a really good job okay you can see it's it's good content it reads really well you can go ahead and pause the video and read through this as it's doing it um, and then you can hit write more and it should continue writing. Okay. And so you can uh, do this as a way of getting long form content. And, um, you know, so here we are at 113 words pretty quickly, but it does take more work. And sometimes it'll get a little bit off um, focus, you know, when you start talking about something that's not really related to interactive dog toys, so that that can happen. Um, but it does actually a pretty good job overall, and so Word Hero can create long form content fairly quickly as well, but definitely not as fast as Article Forge does it. So this um, article is going to be done in just a few minutes. So let me go back and show you. Um, a couple different ways that you could use like Word Hero and I'll leave a link for both Article Forge and Word Hero below. Uh, to me they work well together. I like how they how they work um, and how again I use some parts of Word Hero to help supplement. So there's a lot of um, so let's have it create a listicle. So there's a lot of um, a lot of times my Article Forge article I use Many times, all of it, you know, um, make very, very few edits. Um, I, I usually, almost always use at least 90, if not 95% or more that the Article Forge article creates because it's very, very good, okay? Um, and so because of that, it makes it super easy. And then I may supplement it with some content from Word Hero. So let's, so you can see this list that came up with a, as far as possible interactive toys. And so, um, I just clicked all, and so it pulled all those in here. And then what you can do is you can go in here, and now let me hit write, and it should start writing about Kong Interactive Toys. Uh, let's see if it is going to do. So again, this is where, you know, kind of non specific, but there we go. Now that's actually starting to get a little more. Yeah, it's talking about the wobble. The Kong Classic, the Kong Wobble, those are type of Kong toys. Um, let's see if it what it does for tug toys. And so you can see this actually does a pretty good job. 
Okay. Um, yeah. So here we go. Rope toys. The crazy form dude. And so this can be another way to do it, but as you can see, it does take a lot more just interaction from the user. And this is how most AI writers are. Um, and it, it does a good job. And it, you know, you certainly can edit it as needed, but it does take more work. So here we are back on Article Four. As you can see, it's done. Let's click here to see the result. It's going to pull up the article. Uh, interactive dog toys for your dog. There's the. Let me put myself over here. So here's the image it brought in. If we scroll to the bottom, there's the YouTube video. And then what you can do is you can go through and you can read this. You can edit it. Um, then you uh, and you can you know pause the video and read through it. Uh, you can edit it. You can um, make changes. Uh, and if you like it, then you just hit save. Okay, and then it saves it for you. And then you have all these different options. You can export it as a text file, HTML, PDF, or if, again, if your WordPress blog is connected, just post it to Word. Now for myself, what I do, I just find it easy enough. I click on the HTML, I hit copy, and then I just paste that into a new post inside my WordPress blog. And that's just how I do it because it's been easy enough. So as you can see, it made a really nice 750 word uh, article very, very quickly. And this might be a little longer, it might be a little shorter than 750 words. And again, I probably would beef it up a little bit uh, with some intro paragraphs, conclusion paragraphs, and maybe an additional paragraph or two from Word Hero. And that would put it right at a thousand words easily. Okay. So in this video, we did cover why use AI content because it makes, it, it, it's actually very good. <laughs> it puts out nice quality content very, very, very quickly. I have over a hundred posts on my blog at this point. Um, I'm basically adding pretty much one one post per day uh, to my blog, uh, just because it's so easy. Maybe you know some days I'll add two, and so it makes it so easy to add content very very quickly. So that's why I use it. Uh, you saw the demo in Article Forge how easy it was to set up. So if you're interested in Article Forge, they do. Uh, let's pull that up. They, let me go to their site because they do offer a five day free trial. And so you can go in, you can you know play with it for five days, kick the tires, create, you can create as many articles as you want, you know, give it a run. When you go to their sales page, you can also, they have um, uh, sample articles on here. So you can go through and you can read sample articles for different niches. And then if you're interested, you know, in, in getting it, do the five day free trial. And if you want to buy it, you know, they had pricing, monthly pricing, obviously is more expensive, and you save about 50% by going to yearly. 25,000 words per month, that gets you about 25, 1,000 word articles, which is basically one, you know, post a day. That's really, really good. And again, if, if you pay in advance, for a year in advance, $13 a month, that's nothing. I use the standard as 250,000 words per month, which is way more than I need, but it's only $27 a month. So the pricing is really, really good. Now, Word Hero, um, I believe they still have their uh, their deal on AppSumo where you get lifetime access. And uh, I think it's may, maybe at $89. Again, I'll put the link below. You can go and check it out. Um, but Word Hero works great. And um, the content is very, very good for it as well. So that is a quick comparison so it kind of depends on if you want more done for you then article forge is definitely the way to go but if you want a little bit more input and you don't mind being a little more hands-on then something like word hero uh, is great now we did talk about proof so if you made it this far thanks for watching uh let's see the proof right you everybody wants to say hey does this actually work does this because that's one thing you always hear is ai content actually work well, let's go into my Bing Webmaster Tools for my dog site. And as you can see, um, now I started the site at the end of April, and for some reason Bing was not indexing my stuff until about the end of June. And so really this has only been five, six weeks, and you can see a lot of the impressions and clicks that I'm getting. And, you know, getting a pretty good, Bing is actually a really, really good traffic source. You know, I get a 7% click-through rate, and... And those clicks are turning into sales. And how do I know that? Because here we are in my Amazon account right now. I have my um, site monetized with Amazon product affiliate links. As a primary method, I'm applying to Ezoic right now. I'm in the process, hopefully going to get approved any day. 
and they'll have ads on the site as well. And you can see I've made $2.31 in commissions. Not bad. And this is over the past two weeks or so, I guess. Um, and I know it's all coming from my Bing source because and it pretty pretty good conversions, right? A 30% conversion rate, a total of 70, almost $77 that have been shipped. And the commissions obviously on Amazon are small, so $2.31. But I'm pretty sure this is all coming from my Bing traffic because it's dental sticks, a nylon chew bone, an aggressive chew toy, interactive chew toy. And if we go and look what I'm ranking for, you'll see soft dental chews for senior dogs. That's in the first position. Soft dental chews, etc. Okay. So I'm pretty sure the sales that I'm getting on Amazon right now are coming from this Bing traffic. And Bing is great because it's easier to rank. As you can see, I'm getting, you know, average position. Uh, just my overall average search position is 6.6 .6 in the results. And I got several of them in the top five. You know, lots and lots of keywords actually in the top five. So, but the king is Google. So Google, here we are for this site. And as you can see, Obviously, the average position is not nearly as good, 80, but this was in the high 80s when I started. So it's actually come up um, or, you know, going down. So I'm moving more towards the top. You know, I'm getting pretty good number of impressions and I'm starting to get some clicks. It took a while. OK, but you can see all these clicks have come in over the past two or three weeks. And I know I'm getting more clicks than that because if I go into my analytics, um, I'm getting a lot more more clicks, a lot more traffic than what's showing. But you can see. Um, you know, again, uh, you know, here's some soft dental chew, so maybe I got one from there. But, you know, a lot of impressions for these dog toys and treats. Um, and so, can you get traffic? Can you get sales from AI content? Yes, you can. And so, if you're interested in using AI content to create, you know, uh, high quality content that's very readable and you can do it quickly then I would encourage you to check out either Article Forge. Again, I'll leave a link in the description box down below or Word Hero. They both work great. Again, I use them together since I own them. Um, Word Hero is nice because it's just a one-time payment. That's it. You pay once and then I have lifetime access because they're still kind of in their launch phase, but they really are very good. And I think um, if you go directly, if you go if you go through my link to the AppSumo deal, if they're still offering the one-time payment, I would grab it because I am sure they are offering, or I'm sure they're going to be doing um, monthly payments as well. Um, so let's just go. So if we go just strictly to Word Hero, um, and let's see their, what they have there on their pricing right now. Yeah, it's $49 per month, right? Um, or 29 per month if you pay the 348 in advance. So, so if you go if you buy it directly from their site, yes, you have to buy monthly. Now, if you go through the AI through the AppSumo deal, if they're still offering that, then it's just a one-time fee. So, so thanks so much for watching. I hope this helped you get a better understanding idea about AI content. Um, that the quality is really good and it's only getting better and better. And that's kind of why I held off for a while because I was waiting for the quality to improve, but now it really is so much better. You can create really nice content very quickly. And because of that, if you're thinking about it, I would definitely look into Article Forge, try their five day free trial, or look at the Word Hero offer also. Thanks very much for watching and um, give a thumbs up if you liked it. And please subscribe to my channel so you can get new content as I put it out.